Joining us on the AT&T hotline on day one of the Masters from Augusta National is Brad Faxon. Fax's interview today is brought to you by our very good and mutual friends at FootJoy. He joins us on the AT&T hotline. Good morning, Mr. Faxon. How are you? Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Jerry. Notice how much more civil we seem to be when it's the Masters as opposed to something at Beth Page Black for the U.S. Open? Yeah. Well, we're so much more civil. Now, tell us how hot did Paulina Gresky look <laughs> yesterday? Did you see her in person? I hate to say this, but I'm in Orlando. I'm at the Golf Channel studio. Oh, I'm not down in you haven't gone over. Well, we've but, been promoting you from Augusta National. We lie. I know. I know. Come on. You, you should know when you're sending me all these texts while I'm in the air, you should know where I am. <laughs> He's on the air. I turn on the thing and I said, "My God, did he comb his hair with a with a an egg beater?" Now I I know your wife told me she likes you with long hair. Yes, and I don't care what you like me with, John. But but <laughs> th would she like you to comb your long hair, facts? Oh, I was combed. It was not combed. Somebody I, said I need to trim my lettuce. I got yes. The, I got the picture you tweeted out here. I'm going to retweet it of you and Holly Saunders. Yeah, which, and you should which know one? Are you the one on the left? Are you the one? <laughs> <laughs> You guys are beautiful. They have some smoking hot chicks down there, don't they, at the Golf Channel, Brad? Well, you know, I'm, I'm paying attention to golf this week, right. so I don't notice that kind of stuff. All right, as, as a way to kick this thing off, I will say this to you, Fax. If Tiger wins this weekend, this Sunday at Augusta National, I'm going to start to like your chances of him catching and passing Jack. But I think it's important that he does that. Otherwise, you know, the window continues to shorten. And if he finishes second or third or fourth or fifth, I think it will be a blow to Tiger's plan because it's all going well. He feels good. He's won three times. I think he expects to win this thing, and it will do a little bit of damage to his chances if he doesn't. There's no question about that, John. And, and Tiger Woods is one of the few players, and, you know, there's 93 players in the field at the Masters as opposed to a typical field of 144. And Tiger's one of the few players that's coming here thinking about winning the Masters. I would say 80% of this field comes here, th you know, this is great, I'm here in Augusta, I get a chance to play. But Tiger wants to do nothing but put himself in that record book. To Kelly Tillman, who's hosting the in-studio um, in coverage we're doing for the Masters, made a great point yesterday and said the three previous times when Tiger had won three tournaments prior to the Masters, he's never won the Masters. Hmm. So what? What does that mean? And, you know, he's, he's jinxed now because he won three times? That's a re that's a irrelevant stat. Tell, well, it, tell it, Kelly it, I said that. I will tell Kelly that you said that. I'll also tell Kelly, or I'll tell you what Kelly said, that he hasn't won here since 2005. I knew that, too. And, and his driving accuracy stats prior to 2005 were very good, where his combined total of distance and accuracy were all within the top 15 of the week. And since then, he's been all over the place off the tee. And I think that's important now at Augusta because... They, they've grown this rough out. They don't call it rough. We're supposed to call it the second cut. <laughs> There's a lot of words we can't use. Yeah. But the second cut this year, Jim McCabe, who we know from Boston Globe Days, has been down there, and he, he said it's the thickest and longest he's ever seen it. So if you're not hitting in these fairways, you're going to hit a lot of flyer lies into these greens. So you're not liking his chances to win? No, I like his chances to win. Um, you know, the, the bet of Tiger versus the field is a pretty intriguing bet. Um, I, I, I picked Rory on the air last night because I, I, I love what Rory just did. You know, he, he wasn't going to play last week in Texas at San Antonio at the Valero. He played himself into form, finished um, one or two shots out of the lead and, and had a chance to win. And he, he had been kind of all over the place. And we've seen that with Rory McIlroy. You know, he's not a guy that's been a consistently great champion. He's been had a lot of ups and downs, and uh, but he's won two majors by, you know, eight, nine, and 12, nine and 12 shots, I believe. For more, visit weei.com slash video.